गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज रेगुलरली एंड डूइंग द होमवर्क सो लास्ट टाइम इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन एडिक्वेट अमाउंट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द कम्बशन सो टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड दैट थ्री कंडीशन आर नेसेसरी फॉर द कम्बशन दैट इज नंबर वन प्रेजेंस ऑफ कम्बस्टेबल सब्सटांस दैट इज द फ्यूल नेक्स्ट इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन एडिक्वेट अमाउंट and next is the attainment of ignition temperature among that in the last class we have studied the presence of oxygen in adequate amount for that i have given the example also that why we wrap a person whose cloth catches fire with the blanket we cover it with the blanket to extinguish the fire so that we can lower down the ignition temperature or cut the supply of oxygen now today we will study about the ignition temperature ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire and is called the ignition temperature the temperature at which the uh, the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire is known as the ignition temperature of that substance now i think you must have seen or you uh, means all of you have seen that a ma matchstick can be lighted by striking the matchstick along a roughened surface so what we are doing the tip of the matchstick you must have seen carrying some chemical that is the red phosphorus so when we rub by rubbing what we are doing we are attaining the ignition temperature because all of you know that after rubbing what happen if you rub your hand also then what happen it get warmer same way when you rub the matchstick what happen then the friction is being formed that causes the warmth there and due to that what happened the matchstick attain the ignition temperature and catches fire plus the wood that is being attached to the matchstick is also made up of a special wood that burns in that temperature only in which it catches fire that is why now uh, uh, the matchstick can be lighted by striking the matchstick along a roughened surface now i think you must have understood that why rubbing is necessary for the matchstick to be lighted next is that a substance will not catch fire as long as its ignition temperature is not reached for example i am telling you uh for example white phosphorus is there its ignition temperature is 35 degree celsius in summer season what happen if the temperature rises to 35 or more than 35 then what happen this white phosphorus ignited spontaneously means it catch fire by its own because it already attained the temperature same way for example a substance is there whose ignition temperature is 42 degree celsius or you can say 55 degree celsius 55 degree celsius generally we do not attain in the climatic condition for example a place is there whose maximum temperature is 40 degree celsius and a substance is having the 55 degree celsius ignition temperature then it will not catch fire by its own till it attained the temperature of 55 degree celsius so we can say that a substance will not catch fire as long as its ignition temperature is not reached now next water is also used to extinguish ordinary fire because it reduces the temperature of the substance below the ignition temperature so children last class also we have studied that accident may happen with anyone any day so whenever the fire is there two three things i have told you in the last class also that if a person clothes get fire so that time either we can put the water or wrap it with the help of the blanket so when we put the water what we are doing we are lowering the ignition temperature so as soon as the ignition temperature will be lower the fire will be extinguished same way what we are doing uh, whenever the person get fire in that what we are doing we are wrapping the person with the help of the blanket so by wrapping the blanket also what we are doing we are lowering the ignition temperature that stop the fire or extinguish the fire but children mind it whenever the fire is there in the oil in that case you do not put the water because oil is lighter than the water so whenever the wherever the water will spread it will catch the fire and it will become more dangerous so this two three things should be in our mind every time because precaution is better than the cure next is why do we have to use paper or kerosene oil to start fire in wood or coil coal so the answer is there means uh, i think you must have understood the question that whenever you burn the uh, means the uh, paper or whenever you burn the wood or the coal you need to put the paper or kerosene over it now why because the 
ignition temperature of wood or the coal is quite high and that cannot be attained by using a lighted matchstick on the other hand the ignition temperature of the kerosene oil is quite low so when we put this kerosene oil over the wood or the coal and we uh, means uh, uh, put the fire over with the help of the lighted matchstick then what happen it will catch fire because the kerosene is having the lower ignition temperature so it catch fire when the kerosene will catch fire ultimately the wood or the coal will catch fire so that is the reason why we use the paper or the kerosene oil to start fire in the wood or coal so this question you write down children this will be your homework that why do we have to use paper or kerosene oil to start fire in wood or coal now next is the forest fire so you must have uh, means read in the newspaper or seen in the news also that forest fire occurs during the summer season so the reason behind is that in the summer season what happen the grasses or the leaves dries and when they dry when the air is there they rub each other and there is the friction as the temperature uh, means in the uh, the normal temperature is high so it attain the ignition temperature very easily the rough surface of that uh, means the le uh, dried leaf or the grasses when they rub each other with the help of the air the friction is being developed and they attain the ignition temperature and fire take place soon it cover the whole forest so that is the reason the forest fire is generally seen during the summer season so i think now if the question is there that why do forest fire occurs in the or we can say that this type of accidents occurs in the summer season why i think you must be able to answer it so i think you must have understood today's topic if you have any doubt you can ask thank you